<gasps> Wait, I don't have earrings. Hold, please. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and in today's video, I have a recent reads for you. So these will be all the books that I read in July. I typically don't do a monthly wrap up because like I just, I don't, I don't read very fast. So on this channel, it's like quality over quantity when it comes to reading. However, I did read six books in July and I felt like that was a good enough number to do a wrap up with because technically sometimes I'm only reading like four. Like on a good month, I'm reading like four books. And I know for some people like, okay, I wish I could be those people that read like 30 books a month, but I don't know how y'all do it because how are you, I, one, I would not remember what I read. And two, well, that's enough. Cause like, if I'm not remembering what I'm reading, why am I reading it? But I did read six for July and I thought that was a good round number to share with you guys. So I'm gonna tell you about the book, what it's about, what I thought of it, how I liked it, and the rating for it. Um, no spoilers because that's no fun and we don't like those kind of people here. So uh, let's just get into the books that I read for July. So the first book that I read in July, okay, so in June I did my TBR jar, you know, and I had the prompt for audiobook. So I'm like, you know what? I'm in the mood to see what the hype is about. So I was like, let's put Flock on there. So I read this and listened to it at the same time. And I got to the ending of it and I'm like, ma'am, ma'am, you cannot end that book in that way and expect me not to go into the second book, which I did. And then that book ended and I'm like, well, I gotta finish it, so I did. So that's what I did. So in the first two weeks of July, I read all three of these books. And let me tell you, it was a time. I have a whole dedicated reading blog to reading these books. So I will leave that linked up here down below somewhere if you wanna see like my full in-depth thoughts but I loved it. Like, just like, spoiler alert, I loved it. To me, these books are worth the hype. And now I understand what people are saying when they're talking about these books and they can't explain it. Because I really can't explain these books without spoiling them and it's a crime. If anyone ever spoils these books for you, kill them. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm dramatic. Um, but let me see if I can do, let me just see if I can do this. Okay, so in this book, we're following <laughs> Cecilia and she is 19, I think she's 19, 20. Um, she's going to live with her estranged father for a year. Uh, they don't have a good relationship. I don't know if they've ever really ever gotten along, spoken too much. Um, but to gain her inheritance, she has to live in his mansion. I know it sounds so terrible. Right? You have to live in the mansion and she has to work at the factory that he owns. He's very well to do. You know, he's well off. He is very influential. A lot of, you know, so he's one of those guys. Um, and while she's there, um, so, you know, while she's in this town, things go down. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I just, that's it. Um, that's it. There are secrets. There is stuff that I just, I really can't say because it really is, if I give anything away, like if I just say anything, it's spoiling it. And I just want you to go in not knowing what the heck you're reading. And you're gonna finish this book and you're gonna be like, I don't know what I'm reading. I don't understand. Because a lot of the questions don't get answered until this book, but trust the process. The process is your friend. The journey is your friend. It's good. It's, gr it's so great. It's, oh. If you're gonna ask me what my favorite book of the series is, it's this one. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, you need to be one of the girlies that do know. This book has my heart. I love this book. It, it's just so good. Like, technically, if you wanted just to read the first two books, you could. This kind of wraps it up nicely. Um, but if you want just a little bit more of the characters and you want like, I feel like this one was a nice like letter to the fans, like, with a bow on it, it's like, here you go. Technically, you could finish it with this and just be on with your life. But if you're like missing the characters and you want some more, go into this one. But to me, personally, I think they're worth the hype. I gave each book five stars. 
I know some people who read these books and they don't get it. I think it's just preference, but to me, I, I loved, I loved these books. They were, they were the highlight of July for me. So the next book that I read was The Antihero by Sarah Cage, and this is book one in a new series that she is putting out um, called The Good Brothers series. And in this book, we're following Adam. Adam is just a very nice guy. <laughs> He's from a very influential family in Texas. His father is a very well-known pastor. And so Adam has grew up in that environment. Um, may not have always been the best environment, but he grew up in that environment. He is now writing like sermons for his father. Um, it's just a very good guy. He's just very vanilla. Okay. He's very vanilla. And Adam soon finds out that his father, who was the pastor, is also a the owner of a sex club in town that he has been advocating against for such a long time. The father is always saying they need to get it shut down. Da, da, da. Well, the, his dad also has like a dark side and he's a member of this club. And he finds out and uh, his he doesn't take it very well. Adam just doesn't take it very well. And his dad has also decided that Adam doesn't need to write his sermons anymore. So he kind of like pushes him aside. So Adam's very angry, okay? And then the other point of view that we get for this story is Sage. Sage is not what Adam would go for. She has pink hair, she has tattoos, she has piercings. She was one of the co-owners of the sex club in town with her boyfriend. I can't remember his name. It doesn't matter. He's irrelevant. Um, he kind of sweeps the club out from under her and she doesn't have a say in it anymore. She doesn't own it because Adam's dad does. So they meet somehow at a diner one morning and stuff comes out and they all realize who's who. And he's like, you know what? I, I, I want to get back at my dad. And she wants to get back at her boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend. So they, they have this night of a hookup and, and Adam's like, I can never do that again. I blah, blah, blah. Um, but they soon decide that, hey, let's get revenge for what has happened. They decide to start filming sex videos and putting them on what we would, I guess our equivalent of like hub would be in our, our reality. Um, but here's the thing, they are fake. These videos are fake, but they do enough movement and they're doing enough things that it looks real so people are talking his father's furious his family's like what are you doing um so a lot of like it's a lot of tension because they're doing all these this stuff but they're not really like being intimate until i think it's like it's later in the book but all the tension is so good anyway um but yeah i i really enjoyed this book because you know you can't fake it without like getting feelings and that's just what happens um, I was a little afraid going into this book because it's very like heavily on the religious aspect and I, I grew up in church. I still go to church. So I'm like, I'm not sure how it's going to be portrayed. Like everyone that goes to church is evil and it's, that's not the case. You know, there's bad people everywhere in every, prof you know, every profession, just there's bad people. So I was just worried it was going to kind of get like that, but it didn't. So I'm very happy about that. But I, I would have liked to know a little bit more about Sage. We didn't get to learn too much about her, but I still enjoyed it. I gave it a four stars and I will be continuing on with the series because each brother is going to have a book and I'm excited to know a little bit more about each brother. So the next book that I read was Meet Your Match by Candy Steiner. This is book one in Kings of the Ice series. It's the first book that's out. It's going to be a hockey romance series. And this one was good. You know, wasn't my favorite Candy Steiner, but nothing, they all can't be Love Letter to Whiskey, okay? They all can't be that book. Um, but in this one, we are following Maven and Vince. Vince is a pro hockey player and Maven is the influencer that's, assigned to report on him for the season. She works for an influential company that has a social media base, um, the Tampa Babes, I'm pretty sure it's what it's called. And, you know, they talk about the town and all this stuff. And she is assigned to kind of follow him 24 seven, 
for the season because he's he's like the rookie but he's very well known and he's like this up and coming star um so she gets like free reign to him 24 7 and when they first meet at the beginning of the book they're at a charity event and she finds him to be extremely good looking but extremely like no because he's someone in sports and she's had bad things happen to her in the past her heart broken by someone who played sports and she doesn't let you forget it <laughs> in this book she does not let you forget it she doesn't let anybody forget it and that, i think that's one of the pro like i loved him vince as a hero is god tier he puts up with so much stuff because she is so wishy-washy because of a previous relationship that she was in and he was going to be like a pro golfer and he just burned her and she will not let that go which i understand i understand some people are like that but like she just won't give this poor guy a chance she's like no he plays sports i just can't and i'm just like girl if you were my client i'm <laughs> we'd be working through so much stuff um but alas you are not so it i gave it a four stars i loved him she was just very, I don't know. And I've been seeing other people say the same things <laughs> about her. I just, I don't know what it was. She's short, short. Like, I just, I don't know. She wasn't my favorite heroine that I've ever read about. But, like, I get her point of view. But also, I'm like, girl, just, he's not him. You just need to let that go. But the spice. I want to say this is almost her spiciest book to date. And I think she's actually confirmed this. But, mm, mm-hmm perfection <laughs> and then the last book that I read was a thriller so if you're not into thrillers thank you for watching um but if you are I read Jar of Hearts by Jennifer Hillier I was so excited for this book I have heard nothing but great things amazing things this is they're like this is my favorite book this is my, one of my favorite thrillers and I'm like yes I'm going and expecting great things and honey I did not I did not get great I, I don't know what you're reading but that's not, <sighs> I think I gave this a four stars was it a four or three and a half I can't remember because Goodreads won't let me do half stars and it pisses me off um yeah okay so in this book where I can't even tell you what her name was it's that bad like I'm not even sure what her name is Angela no Angela was her friend Georgia Geo she goes by Geo okay yes it's coming back to me that's how much I enjoyed this book so we have Geo she is the book starts where there is a court case because her best friend in high school named Angela was murdered went missing 14 years later her body was found and uh Geo's boyfriend was the killer he's actually uh a kill, serial killer so to speak not even so to speak he's he's killed many and we are in the court um and she's giving her testimony and she's going to be sentenced to five years so we see a little bit of the jail like the little bit of jail life in this and then we get do we even get a time jump i think we do get a time jump um so we see like the beginning of jail and then when she's getting out and then when she start when she gets out killings begin again and during that five year period her ex-boyfriend who was in prison for murder escaped so they're assuming that hey it must be her ex-boyfriend doing these murders is it i don't know i can't tell you that's a spoiler but it, it's it's a lot of her coming back into society after being gone for five years neighbors do not like her for good reason but you know every story has a lot of sides um so you learn about really what happened that night you know what went on days later it was just a lot of stuff it was good but it was not what like it wasn't five it wasn't a five what's the word star it wasn't a five star like i was hoping for but it was four. I I liked it. I will read more from this author. I have some other books by her, so we'll, we'll give it a shot. I just, I don't know. I guess the climax was just a little for me, but it's fine. It's fine. But yeah, those are the six books that I read for July. 
like I said, the starting of July was a banger. I loved those books so much. Like these books are totally going on my favorites of the list of like 2023, more so the middle book, the Exodus. Oh, but uh, you know, the whole month was pretty good. Um, but yeah, those are the books. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you're new, I would love to have you. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books. And if you did, what did you think of them? Or if you just want to leave me an emoji to let me know that you were here, leave me, leave me a heart emoji because the last book that I talked about was Jar of Hearts. Um, my social media is linked down below as always, my Goodreads and my Instagram if you want to stay more up to date and day to day with what I am reading. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. I feel I'm hot. I'm hot. It's so hot. <sighs> okay. Why would you think I was going to be short? Okay. We, I am a short person, but I am not short winded. I have to make up for my short stature somehow. What did I read after that? Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> I couldn't tell you what his name is. What is her name? The next book that I read was The Anti-Hero or Anti-Hero? The Anti-Hero. We're going with Taylor Swift. <laughs>